Don, why should we give a fuck about Simon Hill? Obviously you do, because you're a busy man. I mean, you never stop. And then you take the time on your schedule to come out tonight and hang out with us and introduce this movie. The, it's interesting, of all the movies that I've produced, the most fan traffic I get, especially my website, the most you know, email contact, the uh, constant um, you know, uh, people always wanting to know more about the movie is silent. <laughs> I mean, next I mean, way down would be the Boondock Saints, which is also a cult classic, and then beyond that, way down beyond that is Resident Evil, which I also did. Silent Hill, it seems every day I have a uh, fan contact, and they want to know more and more about the movie. It's really, really special to that that fan base, and um, you know, it's a picture I'm particularly proud of, uh, working with Kristoff with both the joy and the challenge. Um, you know, he wasn't your typical director. Uh, he, you know, he started off as a film critic, so it was a bit like working with a, a French Peter Bogdanovich. <laughs> uh, with everything that that brings. So, uh, if you know anything about the French people and Bogdanovich, you know that that's a challenge. Um, but he did an amazing job. And uh, the, the, the picture is just very, very uh, scary. And I've made a lot of scary movies. That's kind of my stock and trade, that. And, uh, Kind of you know, jumbo comedies, um, and uh, it, it's just a picture that really, really has reached out to a lot of people and continues to do so. I'm really happy with what Michael's achieved uh, with Silent Hill 2, which he also wrote, by the way. I can promise you, that Silent Hill 2 is every bit as scary, if not scarier, than Silent Hill. <laughs> Skip you there for a second, Mike. Oh, We've seen obviously some of your work, and sure, those guys are familiar with your body of work. But when it came, listen, when it came to doing this movie, though, it's a video game with a huge built-in cult classic. Was it daunting to kind of try to imitate or bring to life some of those fandoms that exist? I mean, it's like adapting a, a beloved piece of literature in many respects, where the expectations are high to bring these kind of to life. Um, actually, it was the only video game I actually played. I think uh, me and Christoph were the only two guys in the entire crew that actually played Simon for one. And I think that's why I got the job. Um, <laughs> building the stuff was actually easy. I mean, uh, Patrick Vitopoulos was responsible for the creatures, essentially. I, I, I brought in a lot of the makeup effects and uh, the, the janitor, Roberto, here played. I created that for the very last minute. But, uh, but really, uh, Patrick was the kind of driving force behind the creature aesthetic. Uh, I was responsible for um, making it all work on set. So when we did the second one, it was great to have that experience of working on the first one and knowing what worked and what didn't. We had to bring that back to the second one and also uh, you know, bring some new surprises to it. So, Roberto, tell us. Was it agony being in that ghetto? <laughs> in that too. Um, it is the ideal agony. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, there has been, I mean, I have to say that it's genius right here, Paul Jones is uh, uh, also working on the second one. He's made so many improvements, and in fact, I suit uh, my cue uh, suit and the, uh, the stunt suit uh, were, were way lighter, and, and I could move so much better, and in addition, to uh, being in the second one a little bit more physical, uh, that helped a lot. So, uh, so thanks to Paul for his uh, genius. Fantastic. Mike? Um, Fine. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can't speak a lot, you can speak very, uh, you can't get into the guts uh, part two. Yeah. But how many times have you seen Sound Hill? Or did you use it as a point of reference? Did you go in fresh? Did you go back to the games? Or did you spread more out this universe that? Don and company agree. Uh, game two, uh, fun of the games anyway, so it was easy enough to. I haven't played them for six, seven years. She went the new, the mother games, but that's, that's interesting, so I think getting us compelled to play them. Um, I worked with Samuel Hadid as the producer. I knew Christoph anyway, I, saw, I went to see Simon in the movies when he came out, because I'm a fan of the genre. And was hugely impressed with the, the artistry of the piece. That's what, that's what really comes over for me, the artistry. Not necessarily the storytelling, as you say, it's it's less about the narrative, it's about the visceral experience. 
and the underlying emotional experience. So that was something to try and recapture. I think we've got a bit more to ask, as we said. Um, but it is a movie I've watched again and again and again. But I've only seen it at the theatre once before. So that's why I'm coming tonight because I'm cutting number two right now, and I'm considering the sound design and the score and how that you, that's used. Obviously, Akira with the music of the game is very important. It's important to me. I want to see how these things come out on this. So I'm kind of wanted, I want to see, see it again with new eyes, looking at it in a very technical way tonight. So hopefully it's a nice bright bulb and it's a good screen so I can, I can see the movie again. But number two is going to be, hopefully, exceeds expectation. Who here has not seen Silent Hill? Well, no, I'm not good. Yay! Good. I hope I we haven't set the bar so high that you're going to come out there with you. <laughs> <laughs> So buckle in, sit down, eat whatever you're eating, get into this groove because this burns slow to get where it's going and it takes many detours and highways and byways when it comes to shopping your system. And hopefully enjoy, again, the abstract kind of surrealist, but also as, as Michael says, the emotional punch that this film has. Anyone can make a kind of abstract film with sentences strung together. But what I really love about Simon Hill at the end of the day is it is about the love and the bond between a mother and a child, and the lengths that that parent will go to to protect that child. And that's in every frame of this movie, even when fucking Rivera's throwing out people with gigantic knives. <laughs> okay, well, let's watch Simon Hill. But before we start out, <laughs> if anyone has lost their debit card tonight, the debit card was nominated for There We Go. He's talking about this the whole time.